Hello to you all and welcome to Deakin University. My name is Olubukola Tokede, but friends and colleagues call me Buki. I am a lecturer in construction management and I also serve as course coordinator of the Bachelors of Construction Management here at Deakin. I am delighted to have you here today as we explore the construction management degree here at Deakin University. We will also be hosting a live Q and A session straight after this. Um, to introduce myself more formally, I have been at Deakin University for over four years now. I have lectured and worked in both the construction industry and academia across different sectors. Um, and I have also practiced in different countries, including the United Kingdom and Australia. Um, all of this has spanned a period of 12 years. Um, my teaching and research cuts across both areas in constructions, including building science, construction informatics, and construction project risk management. Um, my research also centers primarily on building life cycle analysis. Furthermore, I have a track record in the construction industry, and I am currently serving in a number of roles within the university. It is therefore my pleasure to welcome you to this program and this vibrant community of learners. The construction management program here at Deakin stands out for its structured and holistic focus on all aspects of the construction sector, including technology, economics, management, as well as research. It, however, has a strong focus on human element that makes you to feel to be part of a real community where you're not only nurtured on learning the nuts and bolts of the construction sector, but you are connected with opportunities and employment and availed the chance of competing on the world stage, even as an emerging professional. In view of this focus, our program emphasizes hands-on learning and as such, we have over 90% graduate employability as noted by the Quality Indicators for Learning and Teaching Graduate Outcome Survey in 2018. Our program therefore ensures that our graduates are well-rounded professionals, balanced in the heart and science of delivering construction projects. Given our learner-centered approach, we offer flexible learning, which implies that students can complete their program at their own pace through our online platform, and are also availed an opportunity to accelerate learning with a trimester three offering which could be desirable for our students. Our lecturers are highly international and have worked and studied in different parts of the world, including Australia, Canada, the UK, Russia, the Middle East, China, the United States, as well as Africa. Our program is also accredited by different bodies in Australia and globally. And I will talk about this more in a few minutes. For school leavers that may be new to the tertiary education sector, our construction management program is considered a four-year full-time program based on a two-trimester-a-year system. However, students have the options of completing the program over a three-year accelerated program. There are, however, other pathways using TAFE and other allied colleges where students could receive credits for prior learning, and this may further reduce the time of completion in specific situations. Regardless of your entry route, however, and study structure, students are expected to complete 32 credit points over the duration of the course. I will further explain on the next slide on the different units or subjects, as you may know it, covered over the years of study at Deakin. Most students choose to study four units per trimester and usually undertake two trimesters each year. The university also provides some opportunity to spread the load based on student individual work and family circumstances where applicable. This course map provides an overview of the units that will be offered across the four years of studies. The course map is however not cast in stone as students could work with student advisors in order to match a course map that may better suit their individual circumstance. The core unit shows in blue are mandatory to complete, especially in finishing the Bachelors of Construction Management. While the elective 
units which are shown in orange are useful in order for students to take on any units that they may be interested in across the university, which further personalizes the map for you. It can also be noted that there will be some zero credit units, such as safety and academic integrity, that must be passed but will not affect the eventual weighted average marks attained by the students in the program. Overall, all these units have been carefully aligned to ensure your academic progression in becoming balanced construction professionals. This is the entry requirement for school leavers into our range of courses. The single degree of architecture is 70, so you can see what it takes to enter into any of our programs. The single degree in construction management is 60 based on last year's prog progression or projection, apologies, and our double degrees tends to have a higher entry requirement. The last program listed here, which is our combined degree, the Bachelors of Construction Management and Bachelors of Property and Real Estate, is offered jointly with our business school. All our double degrees take five years to complete but they generally provide broader options for our graduates on their career journey. If you are coming from TAFE or Evocational Pathways, we have many agreements with different providers that could mean an accelerated entry for you. At this stage, we are unable to list the different providers, but we will encourage you to get in touch with us for possible concessions and agreement for specific cases. In addition, there are opportunities to transition between courses, especially after the completion of one trimester and at least two credit points of study in your enrolled course. The condition, however, is to attain a minimum weighted average of 65% to be eligible for such consideration. Furthermore, students enrolled in the Bachelors of Construction Management can also accelerate their learning and bring forward their course completion dates by taking advantage of the trimester three offering. If you are unaware, Deakin operates a three trimester system, which implies about three teaching periods of about 11 weeks formally, each excluding the orientation, the study and the examination weeks. A number of you might be interested in knowing why Deakin? Well, at large, we have been ranking well on the QS World Ranking for top 50, under 50, and in many other university ranking systems. Based on the prestigious QS World Ranking, however, Deakin currently stands as the 29th worldwide amongst universities aged under 50. We have a number one student satisfaction of all Victorian universities. Deakin is also ranked number one in Australia for architecture and building by the Good Universities Forum. Furthermore, the School of Architecture and Built Environment has high rating for graduate satisfaction with course and graduate job and pay outcomes. There are also opportunities for high achieving students to receive awards that may assist in creating opportunities for professional advancement and recognition. Now, I'll take you through what a typical week looks like for many of our students. A typical week that a student might encounter differs. However, this may give you an outlook of what a year one trimester one contact hour would look like. Oftentimes, we hope to arrange a lecture or a class per day in order to provide for consistency, although this may not sometimes be possible. A class is something that you can associate with a lecture with everyone together at one time. We often record our lecture as a backup for students, but we'll appreciate when students attend and engage with the classes as this provides an interactive and optimal learning opportunity to reflect and deliberate upon the different concepts introduced and explained by our tutors and lecturers. Seminars and practicals are smaller to toilet sessions involving about 20 to 25 students where we have more targeted engagement with a topic. Seminars are held in a classroom setting while practicals are more suited for a laboratory context. 
for practicals, we tend to have hands-on activities worked through. Appreciably, our practicals tend to have longer time commitment, much more than seminars. So while most practicals might take three hours, our seminars are usually completed within a one hour period. Our scheduled hours are only part of our engagement. Between this, there's a fair bit of self-study time where you may be developing readings, preparing assessment tasks, and practicing model answers. We typically expect to have 10 hours scheduled contact period every week. Then 30 hours will be spent outside the classroom working at your own pace. This time estimates of the required study time is however not a perfect number. Some units may require more time than others depending on your interest as well as your familiarity. Although we have had to work in an online space this year, we typically have an A plus B laboratory where our seasoned technicians induct students in the practical side of building construction models. Site visits are also a big part of the learning experience of students and oftentimes they provide opportunities where students can visibly test and visualize construction con concepts. We also do have a number of breakout spaces where students can discuss and share ideas with other colleagues at the university. For those that may not be aware, the School of Architecture and Built Environment is found in our award-winning Deakin campus, housed in the Hold Wood store overlooking our Corio Bay here at Geelong. Our A plus B studio can house about 300 students at a time and this is ex exceptionally a large open plan environment where students can discuss with each other. This particular um, laboratory or studio as it is called is open 24 hours, seven days a week, and it has plenty of space to work in. We also have the A plus B workshop, and this space tends to be accessible to students after they have completed their safety induction. This workshop has a full array of routers, laser cutters, as well as 3D printers. In addition, we have a selection of hand tools, carpentry, battery, as well as electrical tools. We also have the A plus B gallery, and this is where many students get to present their work and where they get some feedback from different people within the university. As previously mentioned, Construction site visits are a very important part of our learning experience at Deakin University. Students across different years of studies are oftentimes invited and encouraged to attend targeted site visits in various locations. Some of these site visits are arranged by our staff while others may be offered by industry bodies. Recently, we have had to invite students on a virtual construction site tour based on the requirements of social distancing and the convenience of attending site visits without being physically present. As you would expect, this was fully booked out and the experience was appreciably positive for our students. Importantly, our construction management program is industry focused and industry directed. We ensure that the industry is intricately embedded in the design and delivery of our curriculum. Many of our classes incorporate and encourage guest lectures from industry groups and professional bodies. Furthermore, many of our staff are involved with our industry associations. As previously stated, our course is accredited by global construction bodies, such as the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors, the Australian Institute of Quantity Surveyors, the Australian Institute of Builders, as well as the Chartered Institute of Builders, and this is a UK organization. In addition, we provide and encourage students to take on work integrated learning, which are initiatives where they get credit for industry-specific experiences within our program. Work integrated learning could also pertain to situations where students tackle industry case studies using their knowledge and skills about the construction sector. The real lecture series is also another differential within our school. 
This in itself is a weekly event run by our students where industry experts are invited to give specific information on their experience in the construction sector. The paper space is also another annual student exhibition held at Melbourne's Federation Square and afterwards displayed at the A plus B gallery within our university. Unfortunately, we do not have the details about paper space as of yet for this year, given the uncertain times we are facing at the moment. In order to emphasize this, our courses are highly accredited within Australia and abroad. And of particular note, we have four prestigious accrediting bodies. These accreditation processes are of importance as they will determine the kinds of jobs that are open to our graduates. Having studied in an accredited program implies that you have attained the requisite skill and knowledge expected of a professional group. Furthermore, it ensures that you can fit into a number of roles in your career journey and in many exotic locations. These professional accreditations are recognized in more than 50 countries, which means that your career training is viable in a global context. We also do have a more recent course, which is the combined degree of construction management and property and real estate. The combined degree between construction management and property and real estate is a unique course offering at Deakin and is the only one of its kind in Victoria. It brings together the creative and practical aspects of the construction and property sector that ensures that our graduates are well-rounded and adequately prepared to function in a fast-changing and dynamic construction and real estate environment. As peculiar with Deakin, our lectures and our lecturers across the school, business and law and architecture and built environment have extensive industry experience and exposure. Furthermore, this degree is professionally accredited overseas. It is important to note that the property and real estate units are also offered online and therefore quite amenable to students in the west of Melbourne who may not be too keen to travel to other campus at Burwood. Specifically, our bachelors of property and real estate are the highest level of accreditation for any property course taken by an, the Australian Property Institute and the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors. As a result, our graduates are highly sought after. This course information displayed here provides an overview of the five-year combined bachelor's degree in construction management and property and real estate. As common to our combined degrees, students enrolled will complete 40 credit points over the duration of the course, including two credit points of electives. The core units are integral and specific to the construction management or property and real estate discipline, while the elective units are useful in order for students to take on any units that may interest students and could be taken across the university, which further personalizes the map for you. The unique offering of this program is that students can commence at either the Melbourne Borwood campus or at the Geelong Waterfront campus. There are a canvas of job opportunities for our graduates in the construction sectors and highlight disciplines. Some of our graduates move on to become project managers, private and government valuers, construction managers, estimators, contract administration, and many others as shown on the list. Within the built environment, you can fit into a number of roles, which also provide different options across your career journey. Our graduates and final year students tend to apply for cadet roles in medium and large scale construction companies. For construction managers, you will be saddled with the responsibility of overseeing and liaising with different professionals to deliver good quality buildings and infrastructure on time and on budget. I myself worked in this capacity for about two years on bridge and airport projects, and this has been one of the most fascinating parts of my working career. To be sure, your day-to-day -day task may include, but not restricted to supervising construction activities, planning and scheduling different tasks and activities, and ensuring the appropriate processes are followed and documented. As you may expect, this role thrives on good communication skills, 
relationship management and planning expertise. Currently, this role is a well-paid and rewarding job and even many trained architects and engineers seek to transition into construction management roles after starting out in the construction industry. Furthermore, for students enrolled in the combined bachelors in construction management and property and real estate, these people tend to generally explore property developers role. Property developers are good at managing the finances, purchases, as well as the build of a new development. This could be a standalone building or this could be a new residential estate. This developer's role will therefore include research on land development, familiarity with council restrictions and specification, as well as willingness to negotiate with financiers and investors on supporting a building development. This role inevitably involves some number crunching, perseverance, and project management aptitude. The vast array of career opportunities in the construction industry amidst the infrastructure boom in Australia and around the world avails many options to our students and graduates. This brings us to other aspects of the school that we like to make available to our students. Students generally like to take some short study courses that are offered in a given year, one of which is the Intercultural Dialogue for Design, HIDID, which has run every year for the last 10 years. Furthermore, we have study tours and student exchange across many partner universities all, of, all over Southeast Asia, including India, Nepal, Malaysia, and Sri Lanka, and in many universities around the world. There is also a study tour to South America and other exotic destinations. This study tour usually connects students to community initiatives and provides a practical approach to responding to challenges in different sectors and cultures. More generally, this study tour allows a sense of community and teamwork within our staff and students and is well regarded within the university. I have previously mentioned paper space, but to put it in context, paper space is another opportunity which it is an annual exhibition where the school puts on display publicly the work of our students. Paper space has previously been held in the atrium space at the Federation Square in Melbourne and also at our gallery space at the Geelong Waterfront Campus. The details are however still unclear for this year, but we are intending to find some creative alternative for Paper Space 2020. So please keep your an eye out there and keep your ears open to any information we may pass across. This brings us to the end of the presentation today. Thanks to all of you for joining us. It is really nice to see many of you interested in the Bachelors of Construction Management program here at Deakin. If you would like to learn more, please explore our virtual open day website where you would find additional information. We would also encourage you to attend our live question and answer session which will kick off after this presentation. If by any chance you are unable to attend other session, please feel free to speak to any of our experts on the live chat at any time throughout the day. I look forward to meeting you in due course and welcoming you to our program, whether next year or in the years to come. Thank you.